Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together, but take a moment and get a, get a sample of this problem, right? Like maybe sketch it out, read through it, give it a shot. All right, so I'm going to read the question with you and let's start up here. It says the scatter plot shows, so we have scatter plot, it's just a bunch of points on a graph, shows the sizes and annual rents of some office spaces in the downtown area of a city. So we have the office space, the square feet, versus how much you're going to pay for rent. So I'm just going to look at one point to get a sense of what I'm dealing with here. This point here, that tells me that if I'm over 4,000 square feet, I'm going to pay over $140,000 in rent. And that's annual rent, so that's per year, right? Um, they want to know, what would the line of best fit reveal about these data points or these data? All right, so I want to sketch a line of best fit. Now remember, a line of best fit doesn't have to cross every point. It just has to be as close to as many points as possible. And it doesn't have to cross even 0, 0. In fact, it would be odd if it went through 0, 0. And that might be like, well, Sean, what are you talking about? Obviously, if you have no office space, it's $0. But remember, the line of best fit never tells you exactly what's happening. This line of best fit, right, um, is a model of what we predict will be closest closest to what will happen. That's just a, a long way of saying the line of best fit is simply an estimate of what we think will happen. It's a model. So here, let's read through these choices. Um, a, there is a strong negative relationship between the cost of rent and the size of office space. A negative relationship, negative correlation, is essentially the same thing as a negative slope. That would mean as x goes up, y goes down. It's not that negative is necessarily one is going up or down, it's just that, that they're going in opposite ways. If x is increasing, y is decreasing. That would mean, and that would be kind of cool, right? As the office space goes up, as x goes up, the cost would go down. But that's not happening here, right? That would make no sense in reality, although it would be a cool alternate reality. B, there's a strong positive relationship between the cost of rent and the size of office space. Um, so notice here, and I guess they, they did it before as well, it's, um, they're mentioning rent first and, and office space second, so they're saying as the cost of rent, um, to say it this way, sorry, uh, the strong positive cut. Positive relationship. As X goes up, Y goes up. And this is true, right? Y is the cost of rent. So as Y goes up, the office space also goes up. Cost and rent, cost and space are connected positively. In other words, they both move in the same direction. And that's B. I just want to point out that it also could be, um, and it's not in this example here, but as X goes down, Y goes down. This is still a positive relationship because the variables are moving in the same way. And that does actually apply to this graph. Right? As the cost goes down, the space goes down. And then reading it the other way, as the cost goes up, the space goes up. Right? Um, now, a weak positive and negative, and negative relationship. Uh, this is not weak because uh, we can tell the space between the points and the line, it's pretty minimal. Right? A, weak, a weak correlation or weak relationship, uh, the, the points would be more spread out. Let me show you what that will look like. So this is not what we have, but let me just take some blue points here. So these blue points, right, they're still kind of the same trend, right, going up. But they're really far apart. So if you drew a line at best fit, I guess you could say it is kind of a model. But it's a very inaccurate model because the correlation is really weak. That's one way of looking at it. All right, hope this helped.